This northern Michigan island is full of beautiful scenery and an overwhelming amount of history. Over the next few weeks, we're exploring some of northern Michigan's most fascinating islands. Grand Island off the south shore of the Lake Superior in the Upper Peninsula is a big island with a small population. 9 and 10 Chief Photojournalist Corey Adkins and Kevin Essebagers take you to the Grand Island tonight. Imagine this in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Almost 14,000 acres of buildings, traffic, more than 1.6 million people, all on one island. The only way off are bridges, tunnels, or ferries. Luckily, the only thing Grand Island has in common with Manhattan Island is they're nearly the same size, but Grand Island has a population of just around 40. And the ferry only holds six and is a pontoon. This island has some serious history. The first people that lived here were the Chippewa, Ojibwe, and um, there's evidence of settlements on the island that date back some 3,000 years. Simone Hasio does bus tours on Grand, our guide through the beauty and history of this island. We visit some places of historic significance on the island, and I, I give a little spiel about this and that and uh, information. You stop by old historic buildings like the Farrell Cabin. This place has its own waterfall. Then to the Stone Quarry Cabin. It's the oldest structure on the island, built in the 1840s. It sits on a beach of one huge, smooth rock. Inside, you can tell how bored people got in those days by the carvings on the walls. A short walk down this path leads you to the island's cemetery. It's a proud place, a place you can learn a lot about the people of the island. American flags peek through the overgrown ferns. Then there's Abraham Williams' grave. He was the first white settler here, also a veteran of the War of 1812. Part of the adventure is the journey, the rough journey. The roads here are awful. <laughs> it's like four-wheeling in a bus. Now, there's two lakes on Grand Island, Duck Lake and Echo Lake, and there's always water running across the road. And you have to be, it's a little tricky to get across, especially with the bus, but you have to do it very carefully and you'll make it across. Every single bump is worth it. You find yourself on sandy shores soaking in the sun and looking over the Pictured Rocks National Shoreline from the Trout Bay Overlook. A lot of them use the bus tour as a stepping point to see where they want to come when they come back. Maybe they want to do some hiking or they want to camp somewhere. The bus tour is a great opportunity to check out the island. The Mather Lodge also holds a lot of the history. Around the turn of the century, 1900, a company called Cleveland Cliffs purchased Grand Island. I believe they paid about $93,000 for it. The head of the company was William Mather, and he loved hunting. Uh, he brought in a lot of species that weren't native to Michigan, put up a fence to keep them in. Elk, um, he had um, caribou, mule deer, black-tailed deer, Swedish game birds. He loved the island. He would refer to the game preserve as his own personal Yellowstone, so he pretty much did as he pleased. In 1990, the island was sold to the Forest Service for $3.5 million, now forever protected. And today, Grand Island's a great place to come and recreate. Uh, you can camp, you can fish, you can hike, you can bike, you can take a bus tour, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's just a great place to come. A place not on the tour, the Grand Island North Lighthouse. The lighthouse, uh, it's privately owned. Uh, the Grahams own the lighthouse. Um, it was built in 1867. And it's, it's considered to be the highest elevated lighthouse in the world. The cliffs up there at the North Light are some 300 feet above Lake Superior. And it's just in the most beautiful spot. Also called the Old North Light, this view is breathtaking. The colored rock of the cliffs and the crystal blue water of Lake Superior. But watch out, one wrong step can cost you your life. The owners are trying to get the Forest Service to take over the lighthouse and it would become a part of the bus tour if that happens. A bus tour full of adventure, history and grandeur. 
Grand Island's a beautiful island. I feel really uh, fortunate to work here. I actually get paid to come out here, which is fantastic. I love my job. With photojournalist Corey Atkins, Kevin Essebaggers, 9 and 10 News at 5.